Hello subscribers, meet again with me CJH official. On this occasion, as usual, I will provide interesting and educational information and world news. What's the fun like? Come on, follow me. But before that, don't forget to click subscribe, like, comment and share, because everything is free. Ok here I give the best information for all of you. Seven Dark Facts About Women's Life in Ancient Roman Civilization Women and men are almost equal nowadays. Several countries such as Denmark, Sweden, Norway and the Netherlands even adhere to gender equality where women have the same rights as men. Unfortunately, women never received this treatment during the ancient Roman civilization. In those days, women were always second to none, they also didn't have much freedom even after growing into women. Reported by World History, here are seven dark facts about women's lives during the ancient Roman civilization. 1. Ancient Roman women did not have their own names. When a baby is born, they will follow a purification ritual known as lustratio. In this ritual, the baby will get its name. The baby boy will receive the first name, father's name, and family surname. Meanwhile, baby girls will only get their father's name in the feminine version and his family name. When a woman marries, her husband's name will be added behind her name. So, this means that women folk in ancient Rome didn't even have their own names. 2. Early marriage becomes something natural. Today, most women will marry after the age of 25. Some are even over 30 years old. 180 degrees different, ancient Roman women were considered mature when they were only 12 years old. When that happens, a father will find a husband for his daughter. They will be married as soon as possible without asking if they are ready or not. Usually girls marry at the age of 12 or no later than 15 years. Sadly, instead of being happy, early marriage actually causes many women to die. Generally this happens because they give birth at a very young age. 3. Most of them do not have higher education. Just like boys, girls are also taught how to read and write. However, because they have to get married at a very young age, they do not have the opportunity to continue their education to a higher level. Even after marriage, women are required to immediately get pregnant and have many children. Besides having to take care of the house and children, women from the lower classes also work to help their husbands. Because of their busy schedules, ancient Roman women didn't have many opportunities to study. 4. Ancient Roman women were very dependent on their fathers. In the ancient Roman family, the male presence was everything. They usually marry as early as age 25. After that, they will automatically become pater familia or the head of the family who has full authority over his wife and children, including his daughter. When a girl marries, she will automatically be under the responsibility of her husband. Nevertheless, a father still has rights over them. Even when a woman cheats, her father has the authority to punish her. 5. Women are prohibited from engaging in politics. While the pater familia has the right to everything, women are expected to focus on running the house and raising children. Sadly, they are also unable to engage in politics. Instead of putting themselves forward as leaders, ancient Roman women were even forbidden to attend meetings, voice their views, or take part in elections. Fortunately, some upper-class women can still engage in politics secretly by influencing their husbands or sons. 6. Even so, they can still work. The good news is that even if you don't have the opportunity to continue your education or have a voice in politics, women can still work. Most of the women who work come from the lower middle class. They will become farmers, traders, midwives, or dancers to help their husbands meet their daily needs. 7. When divorced, all child custody will fall into the hands of men. 
Divorce was not something that was difficult to do in ancient Roman civilization. When one person is unhappy, they can ask the other for a divorce. When the couple agrees, the two will officially divorce right then and there. The downside is that women will lose custody of their children. However, they can still babysit if they get permission from their ex-husband. Even though not all countries adhere to gender equality, at least the campaign for fulfilling women's rights continues to be echoed today. Fortunately, the laws that were in force in ancient Rome are no longer applied today. Thank you.